Good girl. Spin. Yes. Good girl. Stop. Sit. 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 Coach. Hey. Sit. Good girl. Coach. Coach. Good coach. Stay. Look at me. Stay. Where's it, Taff? Go on. Where's it? So in the last couple of weeks, since I taught her a spin, the very next day she bit off the front of her tail. So I had to go to the vet and they couldn't do anything. Uh, they didn't cut any hair away, they didn't do anything. They just put her in two cones because her nose is so long but her neck is so thin. So we had to get one that would fit in the neck. But yeah, Taff's tail is looking pretty good. Even through two cones, she managed to get at her tail on three separate occasions. The second time, I took the small cone apart and used the Velcro pads to make the large cone more accessible to smaller sizes. And it became narrower, so she couldn't use it to slide it down to her shoulders and then get at her tail. So she was in that for two weeks. And I, I took her out on Sunday to see how she would be with the tail. And every time she's even licked it, I've put her back in the cone for the rest of that day. Uh, she went in it yesterday and it came off this morning and she hasn't touched her tail at all since. Uh, every time she touched her tail, except for the first time, uh, except for the second time she got out and it because it was fairly substantial. I didn't do anything other than apply iodine. When she really got at it, I got my scissors. I trimmed all the hairs away to expose as much of the affected area it become necrotic at the first vet's visit, visit being diagnosed as ne necrotic tissue. Uh, so when she got at it, it was quite kind of gammy. So I just cleaned it all out with cotton buds and iodine. And I cleaned a lot of stuff off and it was, the smell was horrific. Since then, it's been two weeks. I don't know if you can see your tail in the front. You can't. Come by here. Come by here. So if you can see on her tail at any time in the video, there's a little bald pink tip sticking out. You should be able to see it pointing towards you now. It's okay. She don't let me touch it very much, only when there's been a problem. And the time that I had to clean off all the dead stuff, and so lucky, there was no bone exposed, and the tip was intact. So they... The original vet visit, they said they were probably going to have to cut off up to half of her tail. And I couldn't believe that. And I, I said, okay, you think that that necrosis is going to spread? Cut it now. And they said, no. Ah, that's my finger. They said, no, we're not, we won't cut it now. We'll give it a month and see. So next week is my vet visit. But the cones were getting her ears matted and they her ears aren't standing up properly because she's been in there for so long and she's, she hated me, you know. <laughs> she used to stare at me, like, begging me to take her thing off. So. Stop! 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 Good girl, sit! Sit! Sit, Taff. Good girl, sit. Sit. Yes, touch. Touch, touch. Stay. 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 Ah! Stay. Where is it? Go on, where is it? Sit. Sit. Give it to me then. Give it to me. Give it to me. Ah, 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 that's my finger. Good girl. Good girl. Now, the pet shop that we got it from, they were not very good people. Uh, she has been very bitey from the first day. She's got a severely injured back leg. She's an aver she had an aversion to being brushed, but the comb fixed that. She's quite an itchy skinned dog because she had malnutrition when we got her. 
it takes up to a year for that stuff to clear up and the only thing you can do is good diet so we've got it on the best foods that we can find we've got it on a blend of the best food brands that we can find she's doing a lot better yeah it's nearly an upward bow come on in upward bow because of how her temperament was when she was a puppy she was just kind of hiding under the table from us and like i am lucky in a sense because she's on I'm the one as the majority of the interaction with the dog, uh, vast majority, and she's only bitten me. She's never bitten the kids properly. She, I mean, she's bought a collie. She nipped them. She nipped everybody on the ankles when we start running in the house. But she's getting told for that as well. Uh, she doesn't do it so much unless we're playing a game. But the game is stuck in the mud, and as soon as the dog gets near you, you gotta freeze, and she won't. She won't go for you if you freeze, that's what she likes, she likes people to freeze. So we play that frequently, or we did play that frequently, until the whole dog incident happened in Chengdu. If you don't know, it was a dog attack where a two-year-old was mauled by a Rottweiler. Everyone survived. Everyone survived. But, uh, some really messed up stuff. I'm going to do a video on that sometime soon. I've got I'm putting together all the videos I can find of people with dogs, good and bad. Good. I've got that Just trying to teach her not to growl during play. She's very vocal. I've been doing this for about an hour now. Uh, and I, look, this is the first thing that's worked, that she's not talking over me when I'm talking. Because usually when I'm doing that, I'm like, the same bullshit to her to get her mental stimulation going as well. She growling like a beast on me, and she's quite possessive. Stop! 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 Drop! Drop! Thank you. Thank you. Drop! Drop! Thank you. Thank you. Stay. Stay. Sit. Hey, sit. 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 Touch, stay, stay. Where is it, Taff? Go on. And I've, I've really been hitting the stay as well because she was quite bad at staying. Good girl, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Give it to me, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Thank you. Thank you. What I've mainly been trying to do is annoy her as much as she annoys me with the growling, with that repetitive scatting nonsense. Just, I don't know. I can't make any sense of what I'm saying because I can't make any sense of why she's growling in play as much as she is. I don't think she likes those noises that much. Hey, Spin. 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 Sit. Stop. Drop. Stop. Drop. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Stay. Hey. Come in. It's okay. It's okay. Stay. 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 Sit. Stay. Yeah. Come in. It's okay. Come in. Come in. Good girl. You're a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Come here. Come here. Come. Come here. Hey. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. You want this? Come here then. Come here. Sit. Stay. Ready? Stay. Where is it? Good girl. Give it to me. 
Yes, good girl. Ay, 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 To where she's got this bad leg. If, if she didn't have a bad leg, I'd be making her sit right now because she's just standing up. Where she's got that bad knee, they said that her knee is twisted uh, quite severely. They might need to do surgery, but they can only tell after she's 10 months old. Stay. Where is it? Go on. Go on, where is it? I don't force her to sit or lie down as much as I should. Especially in these play sessions where it's up, down, up, down, up, down. On walks, I do enforce it quite a lot. And um, when I'm feeding, I enforce it completely. Lovely little dog went. 